every day is survival and I know I have to make it true all I want for Christmas is you That's all I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> I saw. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hold on, let me clean the camera. Yes, hold on, me clean the lens, me clean the lens. Clean the lens, clean the lens. Everyone, the camera lens. Hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. It's a beautiful morning. And we are here on day 20. Today, do I? 21st? Today, 21st? What? Hey, 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 hey. Or on the 20th, like that. Whatever. We are on 21st. day day 21st of our No Meat November Challenge. What? That would be day 21, not 21st. Oh, we're on day 21st. 21. <laughs> of our No Meat November challenge. And let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I feeling good. I feel like a foreigner. I feel very healthy. I feel very involvement. Mm -hmm. Pardon me while I take a sip. Take another sip, my brother. See, Good morning, Robert Forbes. Good morning to you. Good morning to all the people that are live right now watching um, this video. If you are, if it's the first time you're watching us, we invite you to hit the like button, the thumbs up button, yeah, so that you may um, join us. This morning we are making breakfast and our, listen, it has been a very, 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 very creative journey um we have been just trying our best to make things happen right see yes sir it's been going good you know we have we have stayed away from the meat i never expected that we could have stayed away from the meat so long i tell you the truth i never expect it and every day i said today is the day i'm gonna break the, the challenge and i yet i still haven't broken it so the lord is good he is good and his mercies endure forever today we are making chickpea and kale super delicious breakfast this morning. Yes, it's gonna be uh, uh, um um what do you call it? Give me a word, see ostentatious. Yes, it's gonna be a super delicious breakfast. Valine Thorpe, good morning to you. Where are you checking in from, guys? My bay, Jamaica is in the house. Montego Bay is in the house. Hey, Jamaica is in the house. Come on, baby, baby, come on, baby. Hey, oh, when you walk by every night, talking sweet and looking. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We got carried away. I'm um, Vivid Allen is in Houston, Texas. Vivid, you know me, I have family, right? Family, what's that? Allen. Family. A we, we say family. family. Yeah, because we, we name Allen too. Vivet, we name Allen too. All right. Guys, chickpea. Right there. See it there? It looks so very chicky. <laughs> <laughs> and we have kale. And kale is one of those super foods, guys, that you cannot do without. If you plan to eat if you plan to eat vegan or if you plan to eat vegetarian. This has to be in your diet, some way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and we have some stuff that we're going to pair, all right? We, uh, um, Robert Forbes is in Canada. Canada is in, in the, the house. house. Hey, Toronto, Toronto is, is in, in the, the house. house. Hey. Or Edmonton in the house. Yeah, Mississauga hey. is in the house. Hey. Ontario is in the house. Oh, yeah. Baby, 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 come on. on. Baby, 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 come on. Baby, baby, come on. And we have New Jersey. New Jersey in the house. Hey. Trenton is in the house. Hey. Atlantic City in the house. In New Jersey, and everybody in New Jersey say, Ray! Ooh, <laughs> woohoo! Right. Happy coming like a rapture. Hey, and, and everybody, everybody get, get captured. Hey, please lift up like a helicopter. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Good well, morning, Cabbage uh, Kitchen. Chef Ronda too. Actually, you know, big up Valine. That's why she said run the food. <laughs> Valine, man. Valine, Valine, man. <laughs> Valine, man. Valine, where you are from? Valine is from Houston, Texas. In the house. Hey. In the house. Um, she said Houston already. So I have to say Houston's in the house. Hey. And, and Texas, Texas in, in the, the house. Ah, uh, uh, yes. A baby. Hey. A baby. Hey. Hey, you know which show me like, Valin? Um, what is show name with the, the, the people them were in a Waco, Texas? Pan HGTV. Oh, Chip and Chip and my yeah, husband. yeah. Me like that show. They from Texas. Anyway, let me tell you, tomato. No, this are onion. Mm -hmm. See, you have make me get confused. Let me do it. First, we have onions. We have some Shadon Benny, also known as Colantro. Mm -hmm. We have some fresh thyme. 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 We also have some green onions, also known as scallions. We have some garlic. garlic. Hence, we garlic, have coconut. And we have coconut um, cream coconut right here. Coconut cream. Tomato. We have our chickpeas, a.k.a. garbanzo beans. And we have our kale. Woohoo! It's just so super delicious and so super simple. And this is what we are going to do. As I am, I'm going to cut, start cutting up these while the wifey is going to take you guys on a tour to show you the pot over there, so and what we plan to eat this thing with. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that tour they look like you run over the, oh, you run over the pots a while ago. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're having it with. First, we were deciding to have it with only some boiled dumplings, but then we say it looked too bad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to suck because I'm about to wear run. So we just did these nice pieces of pumpkin, and I love pumpkin, you guys. I don't eat it very often, but yeah, I'm a pumpkin girl. So it's just simple, basic pumpkin and boiled camel dumpling. Hallelujah. Pumpkin. And dumpling. Pumpkin. Dumpling and pumpkin. And dumpling. Pumpkin and dumpling. And if you are online and you like the vibes and you like, you know, the creativity and you support Yardy Belly, just go ahead, you guys, and just hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button because even if you don't like it, you like we. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah some like you know for go on this mm -hmm. morning candy's chen big up yourself good morning good candy's morning chen. to you t hill good morning to you i love you too robert forbes you guys see what eating right can do it makes you guys entertain us <laughs> 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 no, man. It's, uh, it, it's mood altering. Yes, it's true. It's true. Cause you don't get the meat, the meat depression. You know, <laughs> me I tell you the truth. Even though I am not, as I said, I'm not giving up meat. As in, like, stop. Mm -hmm. Me no say, I might not eat no meat whole part time more. Or less, I might eat meat way less now mm -hmm. than I've ever been eating it, it before. before. And that in itself is a good thing. Sim Sima. Who got the keys to the Bima? Big up herself, girl. <laughs> Linda Ellis. Good morning. Hold on, that a Sim Sima will come eat last night over in our house? No, they have to tell the people eh? that they should come eat over your house. Huh? No, but we have to talk the things then. You the guys. Sim Sima will come here with Kino come eat. <laughs> and the little one. And the little one? <laughs> yes, same one. <laughs> I will be singing that all day now. <laughs> Haven't eaten meat in two and a half years. Big up, Yvette. Really? As someone knows, we're a family, you know. There's some connection there. The desire. Oh, we said family. <laughs> yeah, last night, you guys, we had a delicious dish of curried um, veggie chunks. Veggie chunks. And it, it, it gave me curry goat vibes. Yes, it really it gave me curry goat vibes. And it was very curry goat You guys can see it, highlights of it. He did not do a detailed video, but you have like a highlight, highlights of the, you know, the, the cooking process. And you can see that on Instagram at Yardy Belly TV. So if you're not following, go ahead and follow Yardy Belly TV. 
I don't like. I love you guys. <laughs> All right, so can you make a roti of it? Of what? A roti? Roti of what, even? <coughs> Can you make a roti of Oh yeah, oh. With, with the curry. You know, you know funny event, event. Wow, oh my god, oh, oh god. Jesus, oh, oh Lord. So because this morning me get up and me say, you see that curry, that curry um chunks that were left back. Mm -hmm. Me they wrap it and make a roti you know. As a matter of fact, me I go over the, 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 the um Trinidad store oh. and go buy the sada roti yeah. and wrap it for lunch. What you say about that? Yes. You sound interesting. Very interesting. It's all like my win a while ago. All right, so guys, I just cut up the onion over there and I put the thyme on it. Let me show y'all. Put the thyme with the onion. And now I'm just cutting up the Shadon Benny and the Skellion and dumping everything in my kitchen pan because this is going to be so super simple, guys. You would not believe. Valin says not everybody can cook veggie chunks to give you the curry goat vibes. Well, remember me tell you. Simone, how it is, Simone? win. Ask him on out the curry veggie chunks. Yes, yes. Key, you know, big up yourself. I are here. Len Mad. Smash <laughs> the like button. Big up, big up. Thanks for the that um promo. I will watch later. I got to go. Enjoy your breakfast, guys. Sounds like it's going to be delicious. Thanks, coffee. Do your thing, girl. Have a good day. <clears throat> bless up, bless up. And it seems as if everything we are making, we're doing this prep, this preparation process. <laughs> yeah, because we're Jamaicans. Jamaicans do so. the same thing over and over. And what it means is that we eat a lot of fresh seasonings, yeah. yes. which is not a bad thing. Yes, yeah. yes. Not a bad thing at all. Ask Simon what shadow for lunch. Sim Simon, what are you are do for your lunch? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you are do for your dinner? Who are we? <laughs> Uh, uh, so right about now we are making just cutting up our seasoning Put on the pot. yes please thank you we are cut up our seasoning and guys let me tell you something this morning when i was walking it was just a nice it was just a nice cold vibes this morning and i can't help but reiterate the fact that we need to incorporate our health as part of our regular lifestyle a lot of people are just too busy to to do the necessary things to ensure their health and and, and it, it is so important when i see the older folks walking i said to myself wow can you imagine if they had started at an earlier age how much more healthier they would be and mark you it's not a bad thing i'm saying you know i'm just looking at the fact that for me you know we, we just if you can start early start early mm -hmm. you know exercise nice and and get yourself you know gym up and nice up and thing because it really promotes longevity you know mm -hmm. yeah the new big word longevity all right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're cutting up our tomatoes. Don't so say not a thing, sir. <laughs> you know what about me? Nothing. You know nothing about you. Health is wealth. Tell you know say nothing about him, no. You do not live in Miami, did? Yeah, you know you have to find somebody in a boca. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm trying to find nobody. Can me and Simone and can they beat you? <laughs> <laughs> But you know, another thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that I realized that if you follow the system of America, America, under the quiet America is promoting gluttony, you know. You know, guys, gluttony. And gluttony is one of the, is, is known to be one of the seven deadly sins. And gluttony in America comes in the form of over excessiveness. You know, people now eat healthy no more it, well a lie people are eat healthy but if you look at some of what is being promoted you know is an excessiveness mm -hmm. you look up on instagram and you see some people are promote some food thing where it's like them have all all six burgers a year and mac and cheese and run down and you know the chicken barbecue and the sauce and uh, you know is this this over excessiveness you know 
Yeah. And it is part of what is called gluttony. Because you see, some of the food them where they have in America promote this excessiveness. It could have feed one burger what we have in America can feed all three, four families in, a, in a other parts of the world. You see me? One single burger. You know, our, our chicken, our, our the Thanksgiving craze where everybody are going to kill off the whole of the turkey them because why you want this big old puff up looking bird on your table. You know, all of them something is not necessary for doing now. And some excessiveness that, you know. And we have to be careful. Can can I can I walk with the camera? You know you have to you have to use the camera in such a way in which to, as to not. Strategically. Yes, strategically, strategize. Start with the garlic. You can put everything if you want, but start with the garlic and the and the onion. Everything no? And with, yes, it's so vivid. You like you have to have all of it. You know, them try to set us up in the sense where we must we must lust after these things and we know we we, we chew out food we you ever see how much food chew away at, after thanksgiving you know excessiveness your belly can only and you know funny thing you know if you look at biblical principles the bible talk about your belly being yeah, unsatisfied you know it can't satisfy your belly can't satisfy no matter where you do your eye bigger than your belly your eye also you know and gluttony is not just food it's also the the black the thanksgiving craze when we run down go buy a new as a matter of fact if you not if you not have any tv at show can you please call me make sure flat screen though because we need a tv i make sure it's more than a certain amount of age yeah if i'm 50 inch flat screen we need right now when we like because guess what our tv it's down it's really old our tv is so old that you have to, it have to warm up a morning time we have to get our TV one 50, 50 minutes, at, no, 15 minutes for warm up before it starts show anything. See this? That's nice. Leave right there, sir. All right. Now, what we have here is our mixed ingredients, garlic and the onion, the skelly and whites, you know, that we're just toasting. Chunky. Yeah, the, the, the Trinidadian said chunky, but in Jamaica, we just, we just stir fry it up. All right, and um, now we're just gonna add our garbanzo beans. And garbanzo beans, guys, um, is one of the most essential ingredients in vegan cooking. Mm -hmm. You know, all right, take down your sauce pack, mm? your, 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 your sauce thing, no? from the, yeah. It's one of the most essential ingredients in vegan cooking. Everybody use um garbanzo bean because it can add to everything it can add to a whole mm -hmm. how, how come we cut this a big mm -hmm. normally we cut them thing as small you know no we're not putting up cumin because we're not curry it so okay. that we're not currying it guys um put the the umami okay. all right so we're gonna put some garam masala which is the closest thing to curry that I'm gonna add, but it does not give a curry color. Paprika? Yeah, you can put a little paprika. Yeah, so as I was saying guys, you know, we, we, we have become that society where we you know we are we are glutton, gluttonous. You know, this is um this is a seasoning that is found at um Trader Joe's. It's called Mushroom and Company Umami um and so we add some of it you don't have to add that you know but we seem to have it one of the things that i found out is that the eating vegan you really want to make sure that you have good seasoning and herbs otherwise your your dish is gonna really be lacking you know i'm gonna add a little paprika and this is just for the kick yeah now you're gonna come for up here and you're gonna add some herbs de provence Ooh. and that's italian herbs come on put herbs my girl she prayed you know she prayed guys Wonder yeah herbs. stop this one now garlic yeah garlic powder
Run and we like garlic, guys. So, alright, come hold the camera. Let me prepare the coconut. You know, one other thing that I notice in terms of the um, the excessiveness is that the food providers, the retailers, we call them the restaurant. If you guys notice, they're always offering the option to supersize. However, if you guys notice, it's always the unhealthy they they offer you to supersize. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. never hear that you can pay a dollar extra and get a, a large salad. Salad, never. It's always a fries or a soda or something of that nature. So I'm adding. Sorry, I'm adding the coconut cream at this time, guys. Mm -hmm. And the coconut cream is the closest thing that you will come to the original real coconut. Why them call it garlic powder? Because it's it's the powdered form. Yeah, dehydrated garlic that has been powdered. Mm -hmm. And if your garlic, guys, if your gar if you open your garlic and your garlic gets hard after a couple of days, it means your garlic powder is mixed with other ingredients. Anytime you mix something else like cornmeal or whatever with garlic, it, it gets hard. If you have garlic powder in your in your closet right now and it is hard up, it is mixed with other ingredients, which is what some manufacturers do in order to save cost to cut cost and trick you into thinking you have pure pure garlic powder. Mm -hmm. so I saw a restaurant that offered a three chicken packet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The more kill it with that, because that destroy you more quicker. And as that. you can see what we're doing now guys we're just toasting up this everything right here before we add more water you know that's how i do my thing i do it a little bit different from the norm yeah it look away now don't it look away don't it don't it be mm -hmm. like what is he doing it looks like a lot of coconut and the restaurants feed into your gluttonous society to fatten their pockets it's a shame true that man and it's not just the restaurants doing it is the is the food manufacturers you know who give us the, the fake foods on the market and, and and try to get us to buy these whole pretty box things you know it's those people you know this the the, the 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 industries the industries that are promoting the, the destroying land just to feed you know society with excessiveness you know it come from the height the lowest to the highest guys you see that see you see how it come now hmm? mm -hmm. and then you see this same sauce now later on for dinner we just make noodles some some pasta and it becomes chickpea alfredo sauce I just keep adding water. This is awesome already. This is like crazy good right here, so trust me. And you just want this to just stew them now. Nothing excessive. Nothing over the top. You check for your salt and your pepper. And you're good to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, scotch bonnet in it. <coughs> a little more on And I keep my scotch bonnet in the freezer, guys. If you are living where you're not close to a West Indian store, you can also do the same thing. What it does, it keeps your, your pepper you know and also it, it also tones down the heat a little bit so you can manage in my case i have to because the wife you don't like pepper yvette said thank you for introducing me to a new ingredient coconut cream i never knew of that yeah man it's so far the only brand that's on the market is actually grace the only brand on the market is grace I'm going Lisa to add some. Mason, good morning. That's a Trini thing, chickpeas. Yeah, I'm adding some oregano. And one of the things that we need to introduce ourselves to is new um, 
new flavors guys new flavors this is a little bit of chili powder you know we can't get stuck in the one flavor note all the time sometimes we have to add new flavors <coughs> i'm sorry watch this pumpkin spice crazy don't it i am crazy yes i know i am i'm crazy you know what i think they, you know what they say you can't you must add um nutmeg to two things I think anything green leafy and something else. Rich Harry always said. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which two things. And that's why I've been exploring the Indian cuisine and the Chinese cuisine because they use they use their their um their sauces in such a liberal way, their spices rather, in such a liberal way. You know, they, they add spice to everything, mm. man. They make their food nice. Linda Ellis said, I can almost taste it. Looks so good. Linda, you ain't seen nothing yet, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. Let me taste this. Let me grab a spoon and taste my sauce. Want, it want, um, it want salt. It want salt. Everybody Lawrence. know it want salt. <clears throat> Carly and Jocelyn say, I love curry chickpeas. Trader Joe's has a coconut cream too. It's excellent. Yep, I'm going to go for it. All right, so you just want to add some um, We're salt. adding some lorries. And, and you add your salt to your taste, guys. Yes. Oh, look now. Okay. Let me taste it again. And one of the things I also realize is if, um, if you are planning to go vegan, for instance, be, uh, be prepared to have a lot of stews. Mm -hmm. Most of the vegan food is going to be stew. I, I mean, you can always do the fried, the fried um, soy products. You know, I, I, I know of a guy who does the the um mushroom fried the mushroom like um deep fried the mushroom and stuff like that mm -hmm. but it's it use expensive mushroom you know but you can it's you have to be very creative to get out of the stew brackets otherwise it's mainly stews you're mm -hmm. gonna eat trust me someone to interest and i'm learning where do i send you my address to receive my ball <laughs> <laughs> no i just added my tomatoes <laughs> Upload your address to the cloud and we will grab it. <laughs> From the cloud. <laughs> if you're in South Florida, early next year, you will get a chance to, to partake of mm -hmm. Yardy Belly's cooking. All right. Now I'm going to add my kale. Not my kale, you know, my kale. Uh, my kale. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, you can interchange the kale with kalaloo if you have kalaloo. Mm -hmm. um, the kale is, is, however, a little bit more rugged than the kalaloo. And spinach wouldn't work well. Spinach would work, but it's just going to be gonna a little wilty. bit more, yes, more soft. Mm -hmm. You know, so. And you just have a full in your kale. As soon as the kale wilts and come down, we can almost get ready to turn off this. And guys, the sauce is super rich, I promise you, because I use the entire coconut cream. You understand? Me know you look for me, you know. Me know you look for me. Me know you look for me like you want to say, you use so much coconut cream. You go and buy your business and leave me here. You too stingy, man. I just think that the the cream version is way more concentrated than even a pack of powdered coconut. Yeah, that's what I'm telling or you. Or even I'm a saying, can. So yeah. it's like using five cans. Here you know. <laughs> yes, I try to squeeze out the same use too much. And it's like, yeah, the bottom line is you're coming right back around to that conversation. Mm? Yes, tell my child. You think you need more kale? No, I don't want no more kale. I don't want it super kale. <laughs> And guys, you can use any amount of kale you want, you know. <laughs> Trust me, at the end of the day. You don't want it kale. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. And yeah, you want to use um, 
olive oil spread or anything vegan. Mm -hmm. You know? Coffee come in like a rapture. Hey. And everybody get captured. Hey. Do you see for the helicopter? When you see the lyrical doctor. And one more touch of water. Just for the just for the sake of keeping it nice and breezy. Mm -hmm. So, because guys, when you're having boiled dumpling, you know. Yeah, you need that juice there. You need a little runniness. Yeah. Okay. This The water we're adding now is for the dumpling's sake. <laughs> That's one more touch of water for the dumpling's sake. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And this is a nice breakfast, guys. I don't know about Uno, but the breakfast here look very, very nice. You understand? We meet ago. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a meat person and you have little saltfish to mm -hmm. add to this, you're done, you know? You're done. Done. People eat start hurt them. Them neck, all of a sudden, they want to leave work for coming to your yard. <laughs> you know, them want to move over your house. Boy, well, God is so good. That's why we have a little one room for ourselves. Because if, suppose the house is big. <laughs> I know people that line up away from them plate. <laughs> I'm awake. Breakfast time. And I will just... have this for my dinner today. Going to the West Indian store to find that coconut cream. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, just look for the grace. Linda is a trip. And that's what that's why he does what he does, you guys. Just if you inspire at least one person to try the dishes then he has done you know a good deed and Hallelujah. be sure if you have an instagram page to just snap a picture of the finished dish later and tag him so that he can repost it all yes, right guys if you make if you repo if you make over the dish that i've made please tag me in it so that i can repost it and, and big you guys up yeah barbara yes you can come over barbara barbara come barbara come. if you said it's gonna take too long yeah Come over, Barbara. Don't stay over there. Come over there, Barbara. What about black pepper, baby? Black pepper, baby. We put black pepper. Hallelujah. So Barbara, come for the food and we want to make sure pepper in there. <laughs> come, Barbara. <laughs> and as always, we finish up with a vegan dish with a little sprinkle of sesame seed. Toasted sesame seed, Barbara. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to put a little sugar in there, Barbara, because I want it for umami, Barbara. <laughs> Just a little sugar. And we're using coconut sugar, Barbara. Just a little sugar. Just a little sugar. <laughs> One more thing we have to put in there, because I'm a big bad boy from, from down south. We have to put a little moringa in. No, no moringa in it. Put here. <laughs> <laughs> We have some moringa powder right here, so Barbara. Mm -hmm. So we just add a little moringa powder in it, something. Yes, man, moringa powder. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I really love a lot of pepper. All right, Barb's. <laughs> Barbara, we have pepper. We have buckle pepper. We have cayenne pepper. We have scotch bonnet pepper. We have sweet pepper. We have every kind of you pepper. You can add this to yours, Barbara. <laughs> this, that, that pepper here. Of Joshua week and Joshua <laughs> love pepper, same as no. Joshua oh, said no. Dangerous it is. Me, not even look good. <laughs> and that is it, guys. It is officially. Hold this so I can done. share. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice. She can't wait, you know. <laughs> guys, she'll fling the camera, give it, chuck, chuck the camera up on me a while ago, you see. Me here, who will this some share minds? I didn't say minds. Everybody heard you, my girl. Share. No, no, you said minds. No, you said did. It. Guys, did, did she not just say Hello. minds? Remember, I said, can I pay a bug? I said, so I can share. I said, and then you said minds. I never said minds. Are you kidding me right now? I, I don't even talk like that. I who promise says, you, I you did. I don't even say minds. I promise you, you did. I so promise you, you, you mm -hmm. said you said hold this so i can share mine don't no, promise me promise is okay. lord help her jesus she needs help don't linda me. don't you hear the minds you hear it in the, you hear it linda you heard it yes i saw the food look good and it smells so good guys you would believe she have meat me near cooking up 
the way how the food smell good, you know. Trust me. You know what I tell you? I'm telling you. Mm -mm. It looks so good. Go ahead, girl. Make your day. Okay. Fanny me. Fanny me. We are making uh, chickpeas and kale. Fanny, Fanny me. Give people loan. <laughs> Funny man, you give loan because we need to, we need one TV Black Friday. <laughs> but we're making chickpeas with um kale in a garlic coconut sauce. Yeah, that's what we're making. It was look it did look good before, you know. Oh yeah, put another dumpling there. Go on, my girl. Yeah, the dumpling killer. Oh my girl, you are the dumpling killer. Oh my girl, you are the dumpling killer. Quit the dumpling. <laughs> Fanny say, I wish I had the money for me. That look good, baby. That look good. Come, let me show it. I need to show it. Look at this plate right here, guys. Look at this plate. Carolyn said, I wish we had smell of... Mm -hmm. I may tell you, I may tell you how good this looks. Grab, grab the black the black spoon. Fanny me, Fanny me. Fanny me don't have the money. Ready? Yes, go ahead. And I'm doing it right there. Yes, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all learn the thing. Yeah, I'm learning. Right, right, right. Right, that's good, right. Yes, right. That's good. That, that's good. You more want gravy? more gravy? Yes, right, right. More gravy because you need the greener to show. Island Queen, sure. You say Island Queen love make trouble, but you never say it, even if you did say it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Island girl. <laughs> no, man. <Remember. laughs> No, sir. No, Baba. This call for your no, it, it called for the turnstile. Mm -hmm. This one calls for the turnstile. Mm -hmm. Hold on. The food that make you want smile. Mm -hmm. And you put it on, spin it. Mm -hmm. And you have to just eat it. Mm -hmm. Well, it look like a heart, so I mean, I just, I just. See, you know, you may rhyme. I have to rhyme this up, you know. Um, pepper, baby. They, no, not pepper. Um, the baby, the baby tomato. The baby tomato. This one called for the turnstile. Mm -hmm. the you can't put pear if you want. The food look good though. Mm -hmm. You can put avocado. Mm -hmm. And make it look nice. Mm -hmm. And it better with rice. Mm -hmm. And we love how the food look. Mm -hmm. Cheese and peas. Cheese and peas. Mm -hmm. And the food looks so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just touch down in at the airport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, sir. Guys, look. T Hill said that look nice. <laughs> Linda Ellis says yes. Linda, it are opening round here. I said she can't wait for the bed and breakfast to open. Look yummy. Mm -hmm. The food look nice. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's the say it? Um Simone. 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 A boiled dumpling, you know, Simone. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? it in my mouth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you want to put it see. Can you believe it? Yeah. We are too much now. Yeah, yeah, overdo it now. No, it got way bad. May now. I take it out? No, it looks like smuddy face. <laughs> May I take it back off because... <laughs> no, sir. The avocado has piled up the thing. Move them and take it out. I put them here, so. Like eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, God. She said the avocado look like eyebrow. <laughs> yes. See, they like somebody's surprise. They get stare. They get stare. Oh my god. Alright girl, Instagram up and thing and, and then you have to clean up your plate so that your plate look. I gotta clean up. Mm-mm. What, what I, I messed up. up. Mm -mm. Starting my plate over again. Yeah, how does this look you guys? It look good. How does this look? It look very good. You guys just made my day. Bless up. Bless up to you too, Linda. Big up yourself. <laughs> Linda, yes, like eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a recipe online for boiled dumpling? No, but we can make it happen. 
We are going to make it happen. But it's gonna, fact, it's gonna be cornmeal dumpling though. So. We're gonna make it today. Cause mm -hmm. I want more dumplings. Carlene, where do you live? Carlene Jocelyn, let us know where do you live. Where your chicken in from? She said we must come cook at our house. But we're not opposed to that, you know? Yeah, It's Carlene, actually on our to-do list. We're gonna be going around to different homes and Tell me where either you cooking Carlene, or have the people cook. Cause we want someone for Thanksgiving, you know? <laughs> well, on the oh, that statement, let's switch up quick. I'm on my way, my car is in the shop, guys. <laughs> oh, how'd that go? All right, let me see if you can get the picture. <laughs> if you come, you get a divorce. <laughs> if you ever go down there, you will get a divorce. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready for your commentary now for the Instagram, um, the, um, Instagram story. Huh? Instagram story. Your commentary, please. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. So today's colorful dish is chickpea and kale in a garlic coconut sauce. And we serve it with some boiled dumpling and pumpkin with some avocado puree that look like eyebrow. And we have some uh, baby tomatoes, some grape tomatoes on the side. And guys, it is awesome. If you have not yet done it, please subscribe to Yadabella TV. Remember me tell you. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, week. <laughs> Yeah, so this is it, you know, guys. It's 42 minutes, and I think we did good time. We're not Great going time. to stretch it out too long. Right. Hold on, the chosen seed of Israel said, I was feeling so down until I tuned into your video. I feel so much better now. Aww. Bless you, chosen seed of Israel. God is, God is good. And God remember good. to join us every Thursday morning at around 10 o'clock when we do this all over again. <coughs> Sometimes we are a little bit more pensive. Sometimes we're a little bit more jovial, mm -hmm. but whether rain or shine or shine or rain, we are here. Mm -hmm. Where is Wellington? Wellington is sound to me like in Pennsylvania. Okay, well that's fine, Carlene. Just book two tickets <laughs> and we will be on our way. <laughs> Wellington sound like Pennsylvania. <laughs> Tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong, Carlene. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Cause we're going at, we're going on a Wellington. Mm -hmm. Cause the food look international. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one no. <laughs> I'm drinking water, guys, making sure that I have my my regular intake of water. But he didn't drink his cilantro water. I did not drink my cilantro water this morning for my kidney flush. So I'm going to do that before I even eat anything. I'm going to drink my um, cilantro water. Mm -hmm. And guys, remember, say you must flush your kidneys. Your kidneys is one of those organs in your body that many people neglect. And so always remember your oh, kidney. She said it's in Florida, actually, west of Palm Beach. What? Oh, oh yes. We just passed your house the other day, then, man. Yes, yeah, Sunday we pass your house, Sunday. <clears throat> so, when we are set up the thing now, come me, me, me willing for coming now. Serious, willing for go. I'm ready. All right, T Hill, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And as usual, remember to live and laugh, cook and eat. That's just for you, T Hill, because you're leaving early. And um, be sure when you cook it. Be sure to, to share the picture and tag Yardy Belly TV. On Instagram. On Amsterdam. Back to the Wellington argument. Come ready you now. Yeah. <clears throat> Wellington, send us a DM or send him an email or whatever and we'll make it happen. You see me? We're ready. But this is not a dish that you want to make get cold, so unfortunately, we have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. And sound to me like somebody wanna eat. <laughs> until next Thursday or when we do an impromptu live. Oh next Thursday is Thanksgiving. So wow. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be 
I don't know. Just just keep your notifications um unlock so that you can know what we're gonna we we're definitely gonna touch base with you Thursday at some point. At so. some point, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Until next time guys. Remember live and laugh. Cook and eat. Big up on yourself. Hair products. Oh. Um natural <laughs> ergonomics. Um hair products, natural ergonomics. Oh. <laughs> the the link to the hair products I will go ahead and type it in, but it is it's it's on Etsy. It's Etsy.com slash one true natural. Etsy.com slash shop slash one true natural. But I will definitely be typing it in. They do not allow you to add um full links, but I will just put the words and you put the slash where you must put the slash. Is it me? And you can follow me if you actually go on Instagram and search one true natural. The actual shop link is in the bio or in the disc in the um the profile so you can find a link on instagram one true natural all right big up on herself janice jones are you seriously just saying good morning now are you just logging on right now when we're done you have to go rewatch the thing have a wonderful day to linda bless you all what good Ta ta yes he's gonna yeah he's gonna type it in right now so will I be able to see it when you do? I hope so if you Alright hang a second more guys hang one more second and you will see Island Queen don't go no place you will see the link to my products <laughs> And for, the, for Jenny's and anybody else who might be just be joining, this is our coconut, garlic, chickpea, and kale. Is that what it's called, babe? Coconut, kale, and chickpea is in garlic, coconut sauce. Kale and chickpea is in garlic and coconut sauce, featuring two nice um, cornmeal dumplings, some pumpkins, and garnished with avocados and some grape tomatoes. Yes. Day twenty one. No meat. No meat. November. And so the thing set. Is that it's it? it's com slash shop slash one true natural. That's exactly it. So that's the website, you guys. Yardabella TV just shared the website. So please go on and check it out. Get your thing get your hair right if you're a male or female get your hair right get your body right get the thing right all right anyway we're gonna run now thanks again one more time this really looks good right Cheryl thanks lovely presentation thanks 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 Christmas shopping of course Christmas sh hey you know what is good let me show you by the way since you mentioned Christmas shopping <clears throat> no, this is a tip you guys and most people nowadays are natural I can tell you for a fact I'm a hairstylist and 99% of my clients are natural when I have a client who has a perm that's like a one off um, situation so natural hair products are awesome gift ideas let me take it from over the food <laughs> can you imagine give, giving somebody a combo of products for Christmas and just put it in a nice gift box with some nice tissue paper oh who can talk to them remember me tell you shine of mine castor oil and this is the castor oil mascara which is a brow and lash growth treatment if it would just focus that would be good but it's hooked in hop focus yourself Focus yourself. You know what focus people. Why it's this so bad? Okay, there you have it. 100% organic, one true natural, castor oil mascara. It's not a mascara that actually um you wear to 
for styling purpose, it is a treatment, a growth and thickening brow and lash treatment. Has a typical wand that they would have been with a mascara, but it's oil based and it grows your lash. I've gotten rave reviews from my clients about it, so yeah, Christmas shopping, we say. Anyway, it's all about the food. <laughs> This is my plan all the way to Seattle, Washington. <laughs> nice gift to myself, right? Josh the food lover on Instagram. Yard the Benny TV on Instagram. Anyway, you guys, we're not going to keep you anymore. It's almost an hour. The time is spent. And one more time, another 360 of the food. And our beautiful face. Once again, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We do look forward to sharing more from our vegan playlist with you guys. Our No Meat November continues, and it's been so good. Really, really, truly good. It's challenging, and the challenge is this. Do you revert to where you were? Do you just go back home all willy-nilly and eat back the food? Or do you stick it out for your body's sake and for your health's sake? Mm -hmm. So big up on yourself, Island Queen said all our friends are get that. <laughs> big up yourself, guys, and uh, yeah, just keep keep on looking. Yesterday I make some aki with crazy. coconut slices and vegan sausage. It was so good. I am so upset that I didn't um, record it. Mm -hmm. You know, but I did. Oh, yeah. I did do a little kitchen quickie. I call it. Right. So that's gonna be uploaded today. Mm -hmm. um, just a little kitchen quickie and and then um last night i made curry veggie chunks with butter bean oh my god <laughs> with right white rice it, it's like curry goat me i tell you it was so good so so good <laughs> <laughs> but guys once again it's been our pleasure remember don't overdo the spending this year you know take on the time doing a thing doing a business honor god keep Keep on keeping on. All right. Um, much love and respect. Peace in the Middle East. Live and laugh. Cook and eat. Ba 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 ba.